Thanks for dropping in. A few months ago, I printed a couple toggly fidget toys for my nephew. And for a while, he used them exactly as I intended. And many grown-ups were annoyed. But lately, he started using them as traffic lights for his toy cars. What's the problem with that? Well, the fidgets I gave him don't have red and green buttons. Blue is go and yellow is stop, I think. This is a toy accident waiting to happen. So let's build a traffic light. Well, that took longer than I expected. Who knew haphazardly cramming in two meters of LED strips wouldn't work? In the end, I switched to a smaller but much brighter strip, and that was infinitely easier. It's so bright, the camera can't really make out the different colors, but it looks great in person. While I made this with my nephew in mind, the files are available for anyone to use. If you plan to print your own, the project can be assembled in quite a few different ways. For example, you can switch out the boxes with these segmented versions. They are just like the other boxes, but they have a floor. That way you could have a different light source for each light. Couple that with an Arduino and you can have a fully programmable traffic light. If you prefer, you could remove the shutter entirely and have all three lights light up at once. This particular print is intended to be a wall fixture. It has several hooks on the back for that. But I also plan on making a few play-friendly versions. They'll drop these lenses and rely on painting the rotary shutter to show which light is on. 
If you choose to give this print a try, let me know. Until next week, thanks for stopping by.